Uh, Professor Carol, thank you very much for joining World Federation Neurology YouTube channel today. Uh, tell us about uh, the World Brain Day World Federation Neurology. What is it about? Good day, uh, Tissa. Thank you for the question. World Brain Day is a, a day, or actually a program commencing on World Brain Day, which is the anniversary of the World Federation of Neurology's foundation, the 22nd of July. And this is uh, an initiative which, which we began some years ago. And each year we focus on a particular disease that is of importance to many people around the world. In doing so, we partner with different uh, disease-specific uh, groups. And on this occasion, we're going to po uh, focus on Parkinson's disease. And we're very proud to be joined by uh, the International Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Society in this initiative. So why, why did you choose uh, Parkinson's disease uh, as the main theme for 2020? Why should people care? Well, people should care about all neurological diseases because they affect the brain and the brain is the most important organ in the body. Without uh, a healthy brain, it's very difficult for people to lead uh, fulfilling lives and to contribute to uh, their families, themselves and their society. We chose Parkinson's disease this year because of all the non-communicable diseases which are on the rise in, in numbers. This is the one in which the age standardized prevalence rates is actually increasing. It's a big problem and it affects people's, people of all ages. So the, what you are saying is that even uh, the, with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, while the world is facing uh, uh, such a calamity, we must not forget uh, our brain matters uh, and brain health is supreme wealth and you choose Parkinson's disease uh, because the number of Parkinson's disease cases are on the rise. Uh, and uh, you are delighted to be partner with the International Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Society also. Finally, Professor Carol, tell us uh, how does uh, people get involved? Uh, how can they get involved with World Brain Day activities in 2020, which I believe uh, would run over a long period of time throughout the year? Yes, thanks, Tissa. There, there are two questions I'll answer uh, that you've given me. Um, with regard to Parkinson's disease in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, it is important. It's important uh, that uh, we do not forget all the other conditions which are, are affecting fellow humans whilst we deal with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Indeed, some have said that the COVID-19 pandemic is a dramatic example of why uh, health is an important global issue. With regard to Parkinson's disease and how people can be involved in this, uh, they can uh, activate and, um, if you like, uh, advocate that we uh, look to Parkinson's disease and look how we can uh, improve the lives of those with the disease and how we can encourage increased research for better treatments for Parkinson's disease. Now, I just want to say as an aside, we have very good treatments to ameliorate the effects of the disease, but we still have no disease modifying therapy. We cannot alter the course of Parkinson's disease and it is a progressive degenerative disease. So it is important to be aware of this and to raise awareness more broadly with governments and health institutions and uh, health systems. Now, people can be involved by um, looking at, uh, taking a, a look at our website, uh, which will appear on the vision at the end of this uh, short video. They can uh, visit the website, they can download the toolkit, they can uh, organize activities in their own regions, schools, hospitals, departments, and countries to promote this initiative. Professor Carol, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, despite uh, your busy schedule. Uh, we wish uh, all the very best uh, for a successful 2020 World Brain Day campaign with your ambitious plan of ending Parkinson's disease uh, with a massive uh, worldwide World Brain Day campaign. Thank you again. Thank you, Tessa.